MIDI Tutorial 2, MIDI Note Management Introduction In this tutorial, we will look at several ways to deal with one of the more difficult issues in MIDI note generation and manipulation, dealing with pairs of note on and note off messages. We will use make note to generate properly formed pairs of a specific duration, use strip note and flush to control incoming pairings, and use the sustain object to handle situations where a sustain pedal-like action is required. When working with MIDI synthesizers and samplers, one of the most distracting situations is when a note on message is sent to a device, but no note off message is sent. This results in stuck notes, where the note is sounded but never turned off. This is never a good result, and may be seen as a bug by anyone that uses your patch. In this tutorial, we will look at different ways of maintaining an appropriate pairing of note on and note off messages. By using some of the max objects that can help manage this situation, we can prevent the types of mistakes that come from unpaired note messages. Controlling note off with make note one of the most popular uses of max is to create generative music using a variety of max objects. Obviously, this would include the creation of note messages that are played by connected samplers or synthesizers. If you are creating a lot of note messages, maintaining the proper pairing of note on and note off messages can require a lot of extra programming. One of the objects included with Max is the Make Note object, which will create a pitch velocity combination of your choosing, then will generate a matching note off message after a duration you set. The leftmost patch shows the Make Note object in action. You can select a pitch, velocity, and duration using the supplied slider objects. The object will generate a note on message, followed automatically by a note off after the selected duration. The two arguments for make note are the default velocity and duration values, but these are changed when new values are received in the inlets. As with most max objects, only the left inlet of make note is hot. Dragging the leftmost slider will cause a ripple of MIDI events, whereas the middle and right slider objects only set up the parameters. Double click on the note out object in the lower right and select a valid MIDI output destination. Then adjust the pitch, velocity, and duration values. You should hear notes being generated then turned off, based on the selected duration. We've also sent the note events to a print object. If you look in the max window, you can see how each note on is followed by corresponding note off messages, and that the object will correctly cue this messages even with multiple notes, sounding at the same time. Using the make note object is the simplest way to generate note playback within Max without having to program the tracking and generation of note off messages. Controlling note off with strip note and flush the second patch in our tutorial deals with eliminating the note off messages received from a MIDI device and then controlling them explicitly from a patcher. In many cases, we may want to prevent a keyboard from turning off a note, preferring to generate the note off programmatically. In the second patch, we root received MIDI notes from the Nodian object through the strip note object, which will eliminate all note off messages that are coming from our MIDI device. As a result, the remainder of the patch will only see note on messages, and we will be responsible for turning the notes off when necessary. One of the most useful tools for maintaining note on tracking is the flush object. It will create an internal table of note on messages that have not yet received a corresponding note off. It can then generate note off messages for all sustained notes whenever a bang is received in its left inlet. In this case, we are stripping all of the note off messages, so this table will contain all of the notes that we play on our MIDI device. When we want to turn these notes off, we can hit the button object, which will send a bang message to the flush object. This will generate note off messages for all of the played notes then clear the internal table of notes in preparation for the next set of events. Double-click the Nodian object to select a valid MIDI input device. Also double-click the rightmost Nodian object and choose an unconnected input. The default of all devices by channel may cause the two patches to interfere. Now use your MIDI keyboard to generate some notes. They will continue to sound until you click the button to flush them. We've also routed the notes to the max window so we can see what's going on. Using the strip note object to control the use of MIDI notes is useful when our playback engine needs to be sensitive to controllers other than the keyboard. Combining strip note with flush allows us to be certain that MIDI note off messages will be generated for any notes that were not specifically turned off. 
Controlling Novoff with Sustain The third patch features a similar function Sustain notes are held until specifically released. However, this patch will only perform this function when a toggle is turned on. In all other instances, the functionality is normal and note off messages pass without change. This functionality is very similar to a sustain pedal on a piano. Whenever the sustain pedal is on, the notes will ring even if we remove our fingers from the keys. When the pedal is released, the notes stop ringing, thereby giving us a secondary level of control. The sustain object simulates this process. When it receives a non-zero value in its right inlet, it holds all note off messages until it receives a zero message in that same inlet. In this way, you can simulate the action of a sustain pedal without having to programmatically maintain the note on note off pairings. It is often useful to combine the use of the sustain object with MIDI controller 64, so that pedal control messages from a keyboard will react appropriately within your patch. As with the previous example, set the note in on the right to your MIDI input device. Play some notes normally, then check the toggle box notes, should no longer turn off. When you uncheck the toggle, all your sounding notes should stop. Summary Most MIDI synthesizers and samplers demand note on and note off messages in pairs. Failure to do so will result in stuck notes. There are several max objects that help maintain the note on note off pairings and allow you to control the generation and playback of MIDI notes programmatically. The make note object is perfect for generating MIDI notes when you know the planned duration of the note. The strip note flush combination is better when you want to specifically control note off generation, but want a backup in maintaining notes that have not been sent a note off. Finally, the sustain object allows you to simulate the use of a sustain pedal on a standard keyboard, saving you from having to program functionality for this specific MIDI control situation.